there's something cool about we're going a different direction with it and we're going to do something totally new, totally unexpected. And so I think as much of anything, the idea of just pursuing something that seemed crazy on the surface was really appealing to us because we can try something totally new. And I think at the, same t at the same time, I think we all wanted to do something not just straight on Earth, you know? And so Guardians gave us an opportunity to kind of do a space film. The Guardians is a group of misfits and ruffians and scoundrels. I mean, none of them really are heroes. They meet in prison for a reason because they all got thrown in jail. It wasn't like they were wrongly accused and got thrown in jail and it was a travesty. No, they're not the best guys. I mean, they're kind of selfish, self-interested, kind of have their own kind of have their own reasons for doing things and they don't really care about anyone else. You know, one of the fun things about finding directors for these films is you're, we're really trying to find guys that have something to say and have done a great job of saying it on a really small scale or in, a, in an unexpected place and then giving them kind of this huge Marvel canvas to play with. And so with James, we have this guy who had made a couple really interesting films, had written some really interesting screenplays, but had never been given the keys to like a gigantic, you know, summer vehicle, you know? And it was like, here you go. Let's see what you do with it. And from the outset, I think he understood that it couldn't be an R-rated James Gunn film, but that it needed some of that wit and that humor and that charm kind of infused in it. So he walked that line right away really, really clearly. You know, he's kind of had this, this rough go of it. You know, Peter's had this rough go in life and kind of not loving the cards he's been dealt. And then over the course of it, he realizes he's more than that and he's a hero and he finds the good inside of him and we kind of see him go on this evolution from kind of put upon space pirate who does not really you know live in the best life to kind of being a hero now there's something really great about his journey and i, I think chris pratt it's just he's got so much humor he's got so much so much to like about him it's really really exciting i think at the end of the day fans are going to walk away feeling this overwhelming sense of excitement about this whole new team of heroes and going on this journey with them and seeing you know what I could have made mistakes in my life I could have I could have you know not been the best guy on this day in my life or I could have made mistakes and things I regret but at the end of the day there's still time to become a hero there's still time to kind of band together and do the right thing and when when circumstances arise in which you got to do the right thing you know, you find it in yourself to do it. And I think that's part of the, the nicest message of the Guardians is kind of family is what you, what you make of it. Family is where you find it. And you still have time to do the right thing.